Güte. I'll highlight the one just now. Just now we'll highlight this one. Good evening, everyone, or good afternoon. This is Easter week as well. So a lot of people might be outing and things like that, no problem. This whole thing is also live in Facebook and also is copied into the YouTube so you can watch in your own time as well. It's a part of self-development course, level one. How, how the whole practice of yoga, pranam, asan, acupressure, mudra, lifestyle, naturopathy, and balanced living to promote health. We've been doing this for the last six, five weeks now. And next week we'll do asana. This week is prania, mostly focused on. So let's open the slide now. I'm open, going to open the slide, share the screen now. And open my video clip and share. So let me go to the desktop. So, so if I can see this line. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Thank, thank you very much. That's that. Yeah. I did one to the voice. This was the original book printed, Patanli Yogpeet, part one. The Swamiji mission is good health is humanity birthright. To promote good health and healthy living through Swamiji Ramdev's five principle approach to nature, natural way through yoga, which is pranayam and asana. Adiveda, acupressure, naturopathy, and balanced living. Living. The purpose is to promote your health, connect with your soul, and promote spirituality and unity through good health. You have to have a good health to connect with your soul, and that will lead to your spirituality. Health and safety is very important. General rule: you do first thing in the morning or four hours after the meal time. Location should be clean, calm, and secluded place. Clothes should be loose and comfortable. All exercise should be done at medium pace. Remember, if you eat food after four hours, you can do the exercise. And no drinking and eating during the pranayam. Posture is very important. Sit in comfortable post position, either on the floor or on the chair. I want you to benefit from pranayam, not keep moving around. Otherwise, your mind is focused on your posture, not on your pranayam. It's good to keep your eyes closed, which helps to increase concentration. Everything is done gradually. Listen to your body, not in haste. This will help to build up your stamina and build your flexibility. Do not strain yourself. Control your breathing, which will help to control your mind. All breathing is done through, as you breathe in, your lung expands, the diaphragm needs to go down. And for that to happen, your stomach needs to come out. So when you breathe in, your stomach comes out. And when you breathe out, your stomach goes in, pushes the diaphragm up, 
and compresses the lung and to exhale out all the gases and toxins from your body. All the breathing is done through your nose, otherwise when the, what the teacher tells you. Rule for asana is something similar to before, keep your eyes closed or sometime, not all the time, although you might fall down. Anyone with back pain, heart problem, make sure do not bend too far forward. Listen to your body. Do not lift both legs straight if it's uncomfortable, if you have a back problem and high blood pressure. Do not force any action. People with hernia should not asan, not bend backward. Otherwise, your stomach, which is pressing against your diaphragm, will go further in and give you much of much of a pain. Be comfortable, relax. And also, whenever you're doing asan, make sure breath control is very important. Moving forward, you breathe out. Moving backward, you breathe in. Yoga is a complete philosophy of life based on scientific principle and can be used very efficiently for self-healing and self-realization, connecting with yourself to find who you are, what's the purpose of life and so on. It brings discipline in your life. With yoga, you work upon your system rather than your symptom. We work on your upper deka jitna purja hai. If all your parts in the body working well, then body becomes healthy. Benefit of yoga is divided into two parts. First is obviously physical, which all leads to is spiritual. We all have to do a, we do a risk assessment on your business. We should do a risk assessment on your own health as well. Major health problem in the world today is obesity, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, asthma, respiratory disorder, depression, which leads to stress, anxiety, cancer, arthritis, and obviously currently with COVID-19 as well. What's the benefit of pranayam? The first one is increases the level of oxygen in your blood. Second, helps to control your body temperature. Third, releases good hormones. And then you got internal organ exercise. When you exercise your organs, toxins are eradicated, and overall your health is improved. As saying goes, highly clean body is highly immune body. Aapka immunity jata hai. So what's the purpose of immunity? To remove, remove toxin from your body, remove dead cell. Your cells are dying, new cells are being born and the dead cells need to be removed. If that doesn't happen, then you have imbalance of cells. That's what leads to cancer. So highly clean body is highly immune body. Your immunity improves, so fight infection as well, even COVID-19. And also, one of the best benefit of pranayama is help to control your emotion, anger, fear, anxiety, depression, they all calm down. And your aging process slow down. Your face become more brighter. Don't need to put makeup on. But for some of us, it's too late. No point. Your, your beauty won't come back. I know. I'm just sorry. Just part of a joke I have. And benefit of asana is it strengthens your joint, makes you more flexible, improve your nervous system, and so on. And pumps up more blood into the every part of the body. To, you know, improves your circulation. You do and you achieve, you have to do it. How to overcome the obstacle of life by yoga and how to remain the best of health for 100 years. Yoga is the foundation of disease-free living and complete medical science. In fact, yoga is the way of life. We welcome you to join us in practice of yoga. We assume we assure you it will help you to overcome your limitation, cross your obstacle, and by doing so, you will need little care and support from others. Modern problem and ancient solution. That's what it is. Posture is very important. Sukhasan, 
Padmasan, Bajrasan, you can sit all different posture. You have to comfortable or you sit on the chair. Okay? No problem. You have to be sitting comfortable. So you're focusing on your pranayam, not on your asana. Just now, the eight pranayam we're teaching is this pranayam is your breathing exercise, which provides oxygenated blood to the entire body and, its, and organs and muscle and cells and so on. Bastika, Apalvati, Bhaya, Agnisar, Ujjayi, Alom Bilom, Brahmari, Udgit, and Prana. Purpose of all this is it's not hocus pocus. It's done, Swamiji, uh, through the Patanjali, it's done to raise your Kundalini as well from Muladhar, Swadhisthan, Solar Plex, Heart, Throat, Third Eye, and the Crown Jump. Bastrika gives you vitality, energy. And use that energy through Kapal Bharti to raise your Muladhar. And through Bhaya, you keep the up, up to your stomach. And then Ujjayi, you keep it, take it to your throat. And then, yeah, then you go alone below, you take it further up to the nose. And Brahmi takes you to the crown chakra. And prana is part of a meditation to find who you are and purpose of life and connecting with yourself. You, you become more peaceful. That's the whole package of prana. And Swamiji teaching, 70% is pranayam, 5% is light exercise, the rest is physical. So this week we're focusing on pranayam, and next week we'll focus on asana. The first is which always chant Om. Om is a sound made up of A, O, M. A comes from your solar plex, A, U comes from your O mouth, O, and then you close your mouth, M. So raise up the 80% comes from your belly button to the throat and then 20% and the rest comes from there and then boom, like a mm, comes to right, raise up to the crown chakra. So this is very, it wakes up all the chakras and activates your vagus nerve but also release more nitric oxide as well. This is the benefit of OM. OM is a, it's not a religious word, it's a sound, it's a it's a cosmic sign. And when chanting Om, the whole, whole body becomes kind of in part of a trance. Then we talk, I do a lot of mudra. We're just going to quickly go through the mudra first. Yan mudra to improve memory power, concentration, better meditation and improve your focus and concentrate. So whatever task given to you for the day, you can achieve with a flying color, which helps to make you happy, reduce stress, and decrease blood pressure, and so on. Makes you a much happier person, releases more endorphin. Then first we exercise is Bastrika. We do that for five minutes with closed eyes, taking a deep breath in, filling the lung, and gently breathing out, Inhaling and exhaling should take at least same time, at least minimum of two, two to two and a half seconds to breathe in and two and a half seconds to breathe out. While you're breathing in and out, imagine that you're taking in positive energy and vibration and you are being energized by them. Benefit of Bastrika is strengthens your lung, helps with allergy, asthma, respiratory disease, thyroid problem, tonsil, calms the mind, and when your heart and your head gets an adequate quantity of pure and fresh air, automatically your health is improved, blood is purified, and body gets rid of foreign object and toxin, so makes the body healthy. And more toxins are eradicated, automatically your body becomes healthy. Then we do some, once we've done the bastrika, we do some light exercise, just for warming up exercise like we do the toes for prevention of gout. Whenever you eat food, you produce uric acid. It's hard to get it off through your kidney function. But if kidney can cope with getting rid of uric acid, then it flows through the blood and gets deposited at your toes. And that crystallizes 
this very pain, first strain of arthritis gives you gout. So doing this two exercise, prevention is better than cure. If you do that daily, that won't happen. Then you take your feet forward, back, forward, back. This will prevent cramp in your feet. Prevention again, especially people with diabetes and high blood pressure. Then you take your foot right around the, around the circle for neuro problem, and you, you can run like a wiper blade for exercising your hip joint and so on. And last but not least, also you do the leg over the leg and do all the exercise. It's all in the book. We'll do the last but not least, we we'll do the butterfly, which is very good for your tailbone exercise and the, and the pelvis muscle and prevention of very good for sciatica pain as well. And also it helps to pump up the lymph fluid from the groin all the way back up to fight infection, in, especially in the current climate of COVID-19. You should do butterfly exercise at least 30 times every morning and evening. That will help you to improve your immunity as well. Because you have two kinds of fluid, your blood and your lymph fluid. Blood doesn't have, blood has a pump, heart to pump the blood. Lymph fluid doesn't have any pump. They use the muscle. So any lymphatic fluid lying lymph node in your groin, you need the butterfly kind of exercise to pump it all the back up and fight infection. Next, this is next one is Kapal Bharti. This is like a Sanjuni lifesaver. Only health and safety is not to be attempted by pregnant lady. Also, if you had some kind of surgery, depending on surgery, three to six months, but you check with the GP as well. And those with heart and BP problems should practice gently, one per second, 60 per minute, then it won't harm them. Gentle pressure. And also people who are going through monthly cycling females, they can do the same thing, no problem, as long as not too much pressure or not too fast either. You usually start with five minutes, Two, two to three minutes, then five minutes, and your smithy, you do it for 15 minutes minimum. You have to do minimum 10 minutes every time to get the full benefit. Emphasis is on breathing out deeply through your nostril. As you breathe out, your stomach will contract automatically. Your exhaling will create a vacuum in your lung, which will fill up with air automatically. So inhaling, inhaling will not require any effort on your part. Sans lene ka koji, sans lene what happens automatically. Aapko focus karna hai sans shorne ke liye. Just like blowing your nose. And any time you feel tired, you rest for a few seconds and you start again. This is one of the best exercise to, to raise your kundalini as well. And you'll get rid of all the toxins from your body. Face becomes bright, lustrous, attractive. Internal organ access. If I cut my hands and feet off, every single organ in my body, from my heart, my lung, my liver, gallbladder, pancreas, my spleen, my kidney, my sexual organ, and my, my prostate, and for females, the ovary and uterus, everything gets exercised. Just but this just one exercise, Kapal Bhat. So plays a very, very, very good for overall health. Helps to get off all the toxins from your body. Very important. And we're doing different mudra, which we'll talk about. We already did the mudra lecture a couple of weeks ago. And obviously, you're already aware of the Dan mudra is very good for your vocal cord, your thyroid gland, and your, things like that. And it makes your prana flow freely. Very important. That's the first exercise you always do with Dan mudra. Next, we do Vayu mudra. Because every time you have a Vayu dosa, Every time you eat certain food or you, you have a constipation or you don't, you, don't, you, have, you don't eat, your food is not right quality, it takes longer to digest, it creates a lot of gas in your stomach. So you have a YU problem, that will create a, so wherever that joint, the air goes to that joint, certain joint, it will create an inflammation and increase your joint pain. So this will release the gas, the inflammation will go down and pain will reduce. So very good for any kind of pain, gout, joint pain, paralysis, Parkinson's, sciatica knee, knee pain, gas formation, gas, even a heart hernia, things like that all happens due to the gas as well. So it removes gas from the whole body as well. It plays a very important part. Then we do some grinding, very good for waistline. These are light exercises. But again, now we added in, we do that in Adi Mudra. 
no, the uh, ling mudra. If you're doing ling mudra, ling mudra helps to heat the body. So also increase your digestive power and also helps to exercise your stomach to release your stomach as well. And then you go pran mudra. Remember, prana is very important. Everything in the universe moves due to prana. Even your body is alive due to prana. Very good for eyesight and increase your immunity as well. So everything happens, every, you're, you're breathing out, your digestive process, everything happens due to prana. If prana is not there, the you dies, body dies. And then once the energy we have gathered, use that to detox through apan mudra, which helps to purify the body by eliminating foreign objects. It's like a moving through sweat, to the kidney function, bowel movement, breathing out, also gets rid of any negative thoughts in your mind. So very good for constipation, piles, vata dosa, diabetes, UTI, urine infection, and so on. And most people, vata dosa uh, happens to people over the age of 50. That's when they lead to constipation. So this mudra will help to overcome that as well. And then sitting in the Bajrasana is one of the best portions to sit after if you eat overeating, overeating, overeating yourself. If you're bloated, your calf muscle is connected to your stomach. So that helps to digest the food quicker and, or, and also like, it releases any gas. So you don't feel bloated. So plays a very good, good part. That's, that's in for, this is called a Bajrasana or Thunderbolt pose. Very important. Helps to digest the food quicker. Then also you go to Mandukasan. But now because of COVID-19, we want to clean the body much more. So we do the Mandukasan in Bajrasan, putting her, and then also we do Kapalvati for 30 seconds to one minute to five, depending on what how much pan, how many insulin you want to produce. And I'll add another thing on to make the same fist and put a right and left, right one to exercise your liver, left one for your spleen because your digestive power is controlled by liver, including gallbladder, pancreas, and spleen. So you have to do those exercise, Mandukasan in two or three sessions to exercise all three at the same time. And also your stomach to release any gases as well. And then, and then we do the Suri Mudra, which is able to energize your, release your cholesterol, makes your liver function better, and very good for weight loss as well. These are some of the asan, light asan will so go to later on, no problem. This is other, this is very good as well. Usually we sit in this posture and do Kapal Bharati for 30 seconds. That is self, you're twisting. So when you're twisting to the right, then you're exercising every organ on the left side, like your, your heart, left lung, your, your spleen, left kidney and so on. And also you're twisting your spine, so prevention of spine, you know, back pain as well. And when you turn to the left, then you exercise everything on right side, right lung, liver, gallbladder, and so on. And then you do the Tarasan, which is very good for constipation, bowel movement in the morning, also for young children under the age of 20 to gain height as well. And then last month, then we do the last one for high blood. People with, once you're done the risk, like I'm, I'm prone to, I have high blood pressure. So I do Apan Vayu Mudra all the time. Vayu Mudra and Apan Mudra both together. It's very good for that. And also it's very good for making your lung muscle stronger. So when you're climbing a stair, you don't get out of breath. And then you have the ling mudra for people with low blood pressure. And also it helps to heat the body as well. That's why I was saying when you do the grinding, do in the ling mudra. You'll heat the body so you increase your digestive power. It's very good for people with cough. So I have high blood pressure, but I still do ling mudra. What your mind thinks, body delivers. So I'm doing it to benefit my asthma, cough, sinus, so I don't get the, I, I don't get, I, I, improve, I improve my digestive power. That's what I'm doing it for. It dries my cell gum. So even when you have a COVID-19, it helps to recover quicker. And then we went to the Bahia. The only problem with Bahia is you breathe in, because when you're doing Kapal Bharti, it's like cooking in microwave. Energy is bombarding in your body all over the place, and it's trying to escape through the nine gates. The purpose of Bahia is to close those gates so energy can go out of your body and recover back into the body to energize and improve your health. The problem is, if you have high blood pressure, you won't do it. And people, ladies with the 
pregnant or, or they have going through the monthly cycle, they shouldn't do it. That's the only health and safety problem with that is. And this is very good for, it's like a three bundle. You breathe in deeply, breathe out completely, pull your back passage up, stomach in and throat down. So all the gates are closed, nothing can escape, the energy can get. And also this is very good for female, female who have a urine leakage, uh, water leakage, you gotta cough and, see, and also exercise the uterus. And for female, male exercise the prostate as well. It plays a very big part in uh, Bahia Param. The only problem with Bahia is when you do Bahia, you're holding your breath for long because of COVID-19, then your oxygen level goes down. So you have to be careful uh, depending on the issue, what issue you have. And uh, so Bahia is better for health and safety issue for me. Usually I don't like to teach that in level one, but it's part of the package anyway. And then your Agni Kiya, Agni Kiya is the one to exercise your stomach. You, you breathe in, breathe out, and you're trying to move your stomach in and out. Any gas lying in the stomach releases it. And, and But again, the health and safety is the same. Female can't do so, monthly cycle, and people with high blood pressure, high blood pressure shouldn't do it either. Hope you all are listening. Hope you know, you're not sleeping yet. Either. I'm sorry, I'm going through. It's quite a lot to cover, but I think it's, it's, uh, it's important. Hopefully, I'm explaining properly. And then you go, Jai, very good for people with thyroid problems, especially female. Most female have thyroid in balance, this will keep it uh, underactive and overactive, being both in balance. All you do, you contract your throat, like somebody's throttling you, and, and then take a kitchen with the roll your tongue back up and do, <laughs> and then you, and then, and then longer one, <laughs> and then you put your chin down and massage your thyroid gland for 10 seconds, and then close your right nostril, come up and breathe from left, that is south, Exercise is a play one of the best way to improve your thyroid gland and, and it gives you very and get rid of any clear throat as well. And then last but not the least, as Swami says, two of the pranayam is most important is Kapalvarti and Alom Bilom. Alom Bilom is alternative nostril breathing. It's like a you breathe from you always close your right nostril. Breathe from left, then breathe out from right. And then you breathe in from right again and breathe out from left, breathe in from left, breathe out from right. Right side is your sun, left side is your moon. And to prove a point, next time when you're eating ice cream, eat your ice cream very quickly. Give yourself a headache due to the cold. Then close your left nostril, and for right side, breathe twice, deep breathing, and your headache will go away. If you repeat the whole process, you'll see it. So every time that happens scientifically, so right side heats your body up, left side cools your body down. So just by doing this, what happens when you're doing your loan belong for a certain time, everything in the nerve system, your blood vessel, everything expands when you hear something, when you cool some, when you contract, when you cool something, just by doing this, any blockage in the artery clears and and prevents a you know, heart attack and stroke. Plays a very big part. And uh, and also, uh, if you have a blockage of your heart, it finds a, a what do you call a secondary artery flow of the blood, prevention of any kind of surgery, anything at all, need, don't need to do. So it plays a very important part, alone below. And also you have 12, 14 energy channel in your body. Alone below is one of the best way to clear the, any blockage of the energy channel. So energy can flow freely to promote overall health. And obviously, as a teacher, whenever sometimes you lose a plot, tell them to do butterfly. That's one way to keep them people and give you buy some time to go on to the next topic. And one of the best exercises, these days people are working with hands a lot. They work with the computer, laptop, iPhone. Everybody you go around the town, you see people on the iPhone all the time or mobile phone. So they're working so that the posture is not right. They're working laptop, bending their neck. So they all have a problem with spond lead to spondylitis, pin needle in the hands, carpal tunnel, tennis elbow, frozen shoulder, and so on. So these exercises, what we're doing just now, for fingers, and most people who attend the class, they know these will help to prevent any kind of tingling feeling in the finger, carpal tunnel, tennis elbow, and so on. We'll show the exercise shortly. We'll do that as well. And all these exercises you've seen, you're only, you're, most of you are aware of that already. A neck exercise to make the neck muscle stronger and prevents on spondylitis. 
Obviously, I is one of the important organs of your body. You have to die, exercise daily. Also, what I do every night when I go to sleep, fill my mouth with hot water, lukewarm water, and open the cold water tap and throw 10 to 20 times with my eyes on my eyes. That removes, helps to remove any toxin from my eyes, any foreign material from my eyes, and reduce my pressure so I can fall asleep easier. Then obviously, alone below, we have to do it for at least 10 minutes minimum to get the maximum benefit of cleaning any blockage in the artery. In the Haridwar, in Yogram, I, there they did a half hour medical research, doing half an hour alone below for one month, they cleared 30% of block artery. It's proven scientifically. So yeah, we know it works. It's just a matter of doing it. If you if you karna padega, karoge tab fayda kare. And obviously, the stately and satkari is another plan which is very good for any kind of facial problem. First one is if you're thirsty and you can't find water anywhere, then what? There's a lot of a lot of water in the moisture. So all you do, you roll your tongue, that's called stately, and you breathe through your nose. When you do that, the more air goes down your tongue and your mouth gets wet, all the moisture from there. And then dry air, you exhale out through the both nostrils. That's the process of stately. And then Sitkari is when you're feeling very hot and you have no air condition, no fan, then you bite your teeth, put your tongue in your teeth, breathe through the teeth. So you cool the temperature down by doing that. And then your body takes that cold temperature and releases the hot air into the, and you breathe out to the both nostrils. That's the whole process of that. And I'm not going to go into that just now, exercise. They will do that tomorrow and next week. And then obviously, then you have the brahmari. You close your, your thumb to close your earlobe, index finger on your forehead, and three eyes covering the eyes, and, and put your tongue to the top. This will make the energy vibration go to the crown chart. Very good for any kind of mental issue, mental health, memory power, things like that. These are very important for brahmari. Even headache. And if you have a headache, just do the brahmari, your headache will go away. And then udgit, the standing. I usually do it three times, chanting Om again, just to help to relax your mind, no stress, and so on. And then do Pranam, which is a short version of meditation. You focus on your third eye and your kitchen mudra, you're breathing gently with hardly any sound coming at all. This is the whole process. And then after that, we do the prayer, which is a, may, in, in, in English, is may all be happy, may all be healthy, May all enjoy prosperity, may none suffer. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Badrani Pashwanti, Ma Kashyat Dukh Bhag. I'm, I'm doing this for the first time in Sanskrit, sorry. I'm not, uh, my, I came here when I was 14, so my Hindi, Hindi is not that 100% right. That's the, that's the plan I'm class. Let me stop here now. Let's see. So what I'll do is, I've done this part now. Any question or I hope you enjoyed that session so far. Are you enjoying it? A lot, a lot of, you can, you can open up. You can yes. just say, if it, somebody wants to say something, just any question you want to ask regarding what you've shown. And that book is, you can buy those books just now. There's a new one. I, it's now, it looks like that. I have only stock. If you don't have it, everything with pranayam, asan, ayurveda, naturopathy, everything is on that. And for you, if today anybody's buying it, including postage, you'll get a paid fund. No, I'm not promoting. Just don't have to. And this is one of the best things you give to anybody a gift as well. Okay. So if you is, want to, is I, it is it different than the first book I had? Yes, yeah. It's got more information on it. It's got more information uh, because I'm learning every time I go abroad. I'm learning new things, and I'm this one is the next latest one with all the new things I've learned. Put down on it, you know. But you don't have many, to. How much is it, Pravanji? Eight pound, including postage. Eight pound. Just need to write to me whenever I can organize. No problem. <laughs> don't have to buy. I'm not promote. I'm not here to. But I'm trying to promote the health. Your health. You're my like a family. I want to make sure you're healthy. And first, you have to more you read about it more knowledge you have, then more chance of getting benefit from a thing, you know. Something I 
first, uh, Saramji, you know, when you do Munduka, Mundukasan, mm. I don't have, I have to take insulin. So will that help my diabetes? Yes, yes. What happens is you, when, you, when you press your thumb on the pancreas and you go down and you do Kapalvati, that helps to produce more insulin. It's like a towel. If, it's, if you take the wet towel and squeeze it, more water comes out of that. That's what you're trying to do with your pancreas. And also, you have to eat certain food as well. Like the morning, we have karela, tomato, and kiraka juice being a, that will help as well. And also, sorry, you, which, sorry, which juice? Tomato. Yes. Karela, bitter gourd, and cucumber. Cucumber, okay. And also, methi kurasko flak is pani pina super. Okay. Thank That's you. very good for that. Those two things will definitely help you to manage your diabetes better. And obviously, eating what kind of food you're eating is. That's where these all these things help. But again, uh, but Lily, I want a question to be not uh, any, anything to do with the lecture, what you have done. Anything you want to ask on that you didn't understand, you all, you all are expert on it. You must be all doing <laughs> yoga anyway. But I don't have any insulin. I just take artificial insulin. Will yeah. that help? Mundukasan will help? Yeah, but yeah, one thing is it will help to reduce your medicine, depending on medicine. Mm -hmm. And also, one of the best benefits of Mandukasana is, or pranayama, or yoga, pranayama is, it won't give you any side side effect of diabetes. Like, aka problem hota hai, neuro problem hota hai, you won't get all those problems. That's the way I see. Thank you. Sir Ji, I have a hemorrhage in my mind, so I can do Mandukasana? Just be careful, you don't have pressure in your mind. Okay. So sometimes you don't have to bend down. Bandhu Gasan, your hand has got the power. Yeah. But when you give an energy to rely, so rub your hand together and put your hand on your pancreas and do Kapalvati. That itself will get the energy to your pancreas. Try. Put your hand on your belly button and do Kapalvati. So it, it don't get pressure on my eyes then? No, no, if you do it gently, then it won't. it won't. If you go down, then might give up. When you lift, lift your head up, might put a pressure on your eyes. That's why I want you to do that. Just yeah. sitting straight forward, put your hand on your belly button and do Kapalvati. Okay. But gently, not too forcefully, nice and gentle pace. That oh, itself right. will help you to manage that better. Okay, thank you. I see a lot of people are there. I know a lot of people on holidays also really. No problem. Any of the people who watch watch their own time as well. Uh, good, good, good. Not good morning. Good, good evening to <laughs> Rekha as well. I see Rekha is there as well. Doctor Ghosh as well. A lot of people I see. Uh, obviously, Prabhu Sai is there. That's always been supported. Also, also he's supporting from the all all the time. Always ready to support. Uh, and Mina manage as well. So one thing is there's one more slide to go, and then I will do a pranayam class itself. The new pranayam, the one I'm trying to do to fight COVID-19. Okay. Is that mm -hmm. fair enough? Yeah. So you have to just have to be severe. And I can guarantee if you do that, even if you catch COVID-19, first you won't catch it. If you catch it, it won't have any, you won't have much of a symptom. Mm -hmm. Because when I caught COVID a year ago, I went to treat somebody with prostate cancer. Because I was doing those exercises daily, my oxygen level was always 99. I, I, if I'm concerned, anything I'm telling you, I've tried it myself. I know it works for me. And that's what I'm telling you. I'm not a bit confident. And also, I take a uh, coronal, where Swami produced the tablet, which helps with go Asuganda, Giloi, Neem, Tulsi, and all different. Babulka, Chalka, Banawa, most of the Dalawa, Gun Dalawa, to increase your immunity, give you more. So when you even take a vaccine, it gives you, produces more antibody in your body to fight infection. I've been taking that one tablet daily. Before that, used to be a rogue, what used to take. Now I take that tablet. And just again, I, I can only go by my own experience. Don't have to believe me. You have to, your body is your temple. What you put into it, you have to decide. I can only give you my own uh, f benefit I had and feeling it. You know, and please, uh, my purpose is you're like a family to me. I want you to all to survive and be healthy and, and, and your, all your loved one, everybody else as well. So you have to uh, take, uh, think, think about it, you know, health is your true wealth. You have to free So people think, why should you spend money? But sometimes 
कुछ पाने के लिए कुछ बना पड़ता है यू हैव टू यू हैव टू लुक आफ्टर योर सेल्फ एंड योर लव योर फैमिली एज़ वेल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है ना समबडी ऑन आईफोन हैज राइज द हैंड आई डोंट नो हु इट इज व्हाई लाइक टू आस्क मी आई डोंट नो आई यस आई वांट टू आस्क यू समथिंग यस यू ओनली गो प्लीज आई आई हैव इन ब्लड क्लॉट इन माय ब्लड Okay. And I'm having regular medication. So, is any asan to do for that? Not asan, just prana. I'm breathing exercise. One, that's what I'm going to do you shortly. That itself will make your as your lung becomes stronger, automatically your blood pressure will reduce and your heart will become. And also doing a loom below, you have to do longer. So, what when we do the prana shortly in half ten minutes, then we'll go through all the exercise. So you'll see a lot of teachers are there. They all will. I'll pick people, different people to do such different exercise to show you how it works. and promote good overall health is okay yeah that's fine and other thing my husband loses in his uh, muscles in the leg but but is is what can depend what kind of work he did before what did he do his he got so many medical problems no 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 what did he, what kind of work he did before what was He's his lifestyle shop keeper as so a standing all the time that's why damage in neuro problem that's what the problem is along i'm asking the god because sometimes it's due to the kind of work you do you create certain problem and that's why it's done is damage in nerve system and that's oh, why it's the problem you know so it's like a neuro problem it's like a and so it's nerve is damaged and that's why it's getting all the all the problem in the feet for the vegetation in this nerve so for mm-hmm. that we have we have a recipe for that as well to fix it but, okay. but then obviously the we did we did that professor class we if you look at that I'll send you the link if you want later on, and that, we only send the YouTube as well and Facebook as well, which will okay. also use electric gun as well, which will help to improve your nerve system. You know. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing a I'm doing a acupuncture class. In fact, this Sunday with Neil Kumar from four o'clock, where half an hour class. I'm doing an acupuncture for the okay. for the Neil. Just I'm not again. I'm just again. We're talking just now. I'm just That's asking questions. That's fine. Yes. Nice so let me know. let me go back to the another lecture another slide now. When you put yeah. your name iPhone who you are, please. that's still be nice if you put your name then like at least we can know who you who you're talking to. Otherwise, you're too many iPhone. And Anjana Bhat. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Anjana Bhat. Yes. Okay. I'm I'm sure I so I so can change the name anyway. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. So he's so clever. He's been he's been he's been struggling with so much. I told you so much that he, you know he's become an expert now. You guys may have been so often okay thank you so let's let me thank go to run let me go on sharing the screen again eh one minute here yeah. and i want to go there yeah. this is the slide on pranayam itself which was done for the training purpose level 1 just want to go through quickly for you to kind of give you a flavor of you what you need to click on a link uh, it's not open it's not open yet so you no, sorry, okay. need to click, double you? click or click any good now no no let me let me stop the sharing again eh uh, That's where the problem is. Um, uh, try again. Okay. No. Can you see now? Yes. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, is there? Perfect. Thank you. Pranayam is philosophy and practice. As I said to you, modern problem and ancient solution. It's the ancient science related to prana. Prana is the universal energy, keeps everything moving in the universe. Pranayam is pran is the universal energy. Ayam is the exercise, a control of breath. So black spots around at the bottom. I can, how do you get it? That's what I can't. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> okay, thank you. How do you do? I can't get it. That's no. somehow. I know that. That's that's why I'm, I'm struggling. 
Or if I move the slide up, no, I can't do that. Okay, then I can. I think click on the blue. Look, oh, where's blue? No, when you had the previous slide, if you just click on the blue line, you know, the blue color. Uh, uh, yeah, just click on that, see if it works. No, it doesn't. Oh. I think I think it's part of it. Maybe it's bottom of the screen doesn't matter. Control of breathing. Remember, you have two kind of muscle: voluntary muscle and involuntary muscle. Your heart is a involuntary muscle. If heart is stop breathing, then Ram Nam Satya Murda Bada must die. But the breath, lung is a both voluntary and involuntary. It runs automatically itself, but you can control it by stopping it for short period as well or making a deeper breath in and out. This is how you go into your, like a, 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 you know, nanotechnology. You fix yourself up. Life is a form of breath. Breath is the main, you have the body and the mind. Breath is the main bridge between body and mind. Prana always remains active, never takes rest. If you take a rest, you're dead. Life depends on prana. Provide energy to the whole body. Makes your mind and soul work together for your good health. This diagram is done by one of our medical team who is a heart surgeon. Now he's moved to Canada. It's a very good slide he designed. You have the body and you have the mind. Mind is the conscious mind and subconscious mind. There's no connection between body and mind. But the breath is the main bridge between your body and mind. That's why when you're frightened, your mind, your body is frightened, your breath changes. Your breath goes. <sighs> so what Swami has done is reverse the role. By learning to control your breath, you learn to control your mind. Once you come to mind, then slowly it goes into your subconscious mind, which helps you to connect with your soul in mortal. And then that all leads to your spirituality. So you can't go into temple, going to church, or going to Gurdwara, you won't, you won't have a spirituality. First, you have to connect your body and mind together and connect with your soul. Then the next step is you connect with your spirituality. We can go into this. Is this. So prana is the one enters through your nostril. So really, your nasal passage is one of the main ways to access to your lung to give you prana as well. Your breath is the main vehicle for prana to enter your body. So you have nasal passage, your nasal passage needs to be clear all the time. No mucus in them. Every morning you go, you have a ball movement. You might be throwing water over your eyes. You brush your teeth, you have a shower. Not many people do nasal cleansing every day. What you have to do every night Put some oil, mustard oil, coconut oil, anything like that into your nasal passage, just by finger slightly. And morning when you're showering or over the sink, you sneeze and try to get rid of any mucus lying in your nasal passage. That way you can breathe properly and you can get more oxygen supply to your lung and get you more oxygenated blood. Very important. Pranayam is a yogic method for hastening your restraining energy through breath. So doing breathing at different frequency, you energize your whole body. Learn to control your mind. I've only talked about the benefit of it before. All this good hormones, immunity and so on. Internal organ exercise. Mind becomes stable and tranquil. Meditation becomes easier when you do prana. Remember facing your system, not your symptom. Aging process slows down, face becomes bright, forehead becomes shiny, attractive, and calmer. All the function of body happens due to prana. 
without prana there is no life help in concentration so breathing pattern can open the door of different state of mind through the breath you can connect with learn, learn to control your mind mind is like a horse it runs wild everywhere so once you learn to control your mind whatever mind that says body delivers so if it's up to you if you want to be a master you have to learn to control your mind all this you know all you know all those things lungs become stronger improves your circulation and so on one of the best thing is i am also authorized to do yoga in the school as well they gave me in sakhlaid when i went they gave me the list of a school to go to where people were very violent when teacher was scared of the student as well they used to work a big belly with big wellington big boots as well you know like all all you know like a very aggressive people so i took 6 month of yoga class there so in with the benefit what they find teacher all the children become much more calmer even the bbc world came back and took the video and, and put that in the news as well what they find mental disturbance excitement anxiety fear anger disappointment lust for sex can be calmed down by regular practice of prana improve the function of brain cell with the result the memory and faculty of discrimination and observation is automatically improved so really prana is one of the best way for mental health we only talked about all these thing Help to release your aging process. Sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Does it work with depression people, and how does how can they do it? What's that? Does it help with depression people, and how? Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's what that that's that's what I'm trying to say with this thing. All this thing, pranam itself is the one will get rid of any kind of depression, anxiety, mental health. Your mental health is a big issue just now, even COVID nineteen, because you're you're not allowed to go out, you're staying home, and things like that, or you're looking at your husband or wife for whole twenty four hours a day. and that's it self in mental disturbance you know something and on the term again that's as uh, that that is one of the main because people are not used to looking at each other for whole day so really pranayam is one of the best way especially the bhastrika if you just slow down your breath once you do in khichdi mudra your breath goes even to a uh, you know like almost you know usually breathing takes 18 breath per minute when you do pranayam is 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 really uh, 12 but when you do khichdi mudra it goes down to 8 or 12 longer you deeper you breathe more chance of uh, uh, mental health problem going away okay in the eight pranayam bastika kapalbhati bahya ujjayi only talked about it so no point going to that again so practice a pranayam is so simple innocent harmless that even a child sick person aged person can practice it without any harm at all all they have is benefit 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 we will talk about all these again we done all this no point going to it we done all that and purpose of all this is to raise your chakra as well kundalini jagran awakening of serpent you know serpent energy sitting in your base coil with ida pingala and sushma nadi upward movement of prana very important kundalini jagra when you clean your chakras your muladhara swadhisthan solar plex your heart your throat your third eye and the crown chakra as you come up you clean all the chakras feeling of total satisfaction total peace with among yourself can influence all of those who comes with contact and so you become more powerful people connect with you easily and your face starts to glow and you change your aura aapka aura badal jata hai all this happen due to doing the prithvi prana prana is one swami ji has a parallel on one side through the kapal bharti prana i'm doing for a longer hour he managed to fix himself that's how he came to science of how to promote prana for health for promoting health You you become more compassionate. I find since I started doing yoga, 
if you see pain anywhere at all, you, you start, you become more emotional. And also one of the main benefits, you never become sick for your lifetime if you do pranayam daily. He said, remain, if you want to remain disease-free, healthy, vigorous, and strong-minded, all this due to the pranayam. Right. That's a lecture for today. Now it's physical. I, we're going to do it now, all of you. So what I'm going to do, highlight myself in the other screen. Let's see. Oh, it's time for my, my laptop's gone off. I don't know. Okay, can I do it here? I suppose I can do it here. Okay. Let's, uh, let me have a glass of water. My mouth's gone dry. <laughs> So that's why the whole package about pranayam to find out how it works, what's the benefit and things like that. This is what we train when we do the level training. And I've done training throughout the world, even Mauritius, Africa, Nairobi, Dar es Salaam, Mombasa, South America, San Paulo, I mean, Canada, Ontario, Vancouver, Washington DC, New York, Dallas, Houston, China, Hong Kong, Australia, you name it, we've been everywhere with Swamiji and myself teaching pranayam and this is this these are the books we use to promote health that's everything on it and really that's why i was trying to show you the pranayam is how important for health and a lot of they love yoga teacher in uk taking the time to do to take free classes uh, like prabhuji and money doing as well and then a lot of us like panuban yeah a lot of people are there and rekhaji as well every morning they just well have seen some of the classes as well so really and uh, please join one of the classes. See, Paranesa Yoga, Karna Prega. Learn to love yourself. At least you spend half an hour every morning on yourself doing pranayama. That itself will help you to improve your health, overall health. Prevention is better than cure. Hey, yeah. Karo Yog, Raho Niro. So. Excellent. And one of the main things with, uh, with COVID 19, we find was my research with nitric oxide plays a very important part in promoting health as well, especially with prevention of cancer. They use the nitric oxide for, uh, for COVID-19, for nasal passes. Also, they use that for CPOD, for lung infection. Also, they use that for, for young children when premature, the lungs not develop properly. And so they mix with oxygen to give them to young child as well to, to breathe properly so they can have a better chance of survival. And they use that for mouth cancer as well in hospital. So you can see how important nitric oxide, all these things are important part of. So when you're doing pranayam, you do the nitric oxide daily as well. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to work through and to promote health. Now let's all sit there in any posture you're sitting on. You can sit in a chair. I like to do, I have a damaged knee. So I do chair on the chair yoga all the time. So we can do all sitting in the chair, no problem. Very important for for a healthy body to have a good posture. So first we do exercise for your posture. Put your hand like this, put a pressure on both hands, right hand, left hand onto that. And then you breathe in, you go up, and we come down and you breathe like 20 times. Excellent. Next, you have three sections of the lung on the right side and two sections on the left side. So what you do is, if you if put your hand open up and you do the seizure action, that way you exercise the top section of the lung. One, one, up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Nine, ten, excellent. This exercise, the top section of lung, and for the bottom section, might be difficult sitting on the chair. What you're trying to do is you touch behind the hand, behind the back, you breathe in, and you go forward, bottom. So you exercise the bottom section of the lung. Excellent. 
Excellent. Next, a lot of people have chicken wing. Nobody wants chicken wing, do you? So really put your both hands there, breathing in and out. People who spend thousands of pounds for surgery to get rid of chicken wing. Here you do it free, no cost of penny. Muskuratero, muskurao with the double benefit for that. Excellent. <laughs> Next, a lot of people have frozen shoulder problem. So put your hand like this, you engage your shoulder. And do the opposite. Excellent. Next, to, to exercise the whole of the shoulder blade, take a hand up. Asoji, all the way from the top. Nitija, a paki maran. Paki maran is a new one. Full person is an Africa. Lakta both kam kare. I've got hard to try. Lakta. And do the reverse. Excellent. All these are simple exercises. One of the other ways to do is I use a lot of mudra in pranayam. Your mudra directs a prana, which I've talked about in mudra class. So if you hold your gyan mudra upside down on your chin, on your knee, that sends a prana to the bottom section of the lung. Just by holding your finger like this on your knee, breathe in for 10 seconds. You'll find your lung will expand to the bottom section. Excellent. Now, still keeping the chin mudra, we do kapal bhati to expand the bottom sex of the lung. So let's do that for again another 10 seconds. So we manage to expand the bottom section. Now you work on the top section. For this, you use the Adi Mudra. Open your palm of your hand, put the thumb in the middle, and make a tight fist. Adi means fist. This sends a prana to the top section of the lung. Very important for people with respiratory disease, asthma, bronchitis. If you do that daily, I can guarantee if you have asthma, it will go away definitely. Just for putting down your knee again and do busting up for 10 seconds. Next, you do Kapal Bharti. Excellent. Next, one of the best way to open your lung is through the improving your heart function. Heart has a, your little finger goes to your heart. And there's a paracaridium, which is the muscle which protects your heart, which is the middle finger. So just by doing this, you're improving your heart health. Just by doing this, that will improve your lung function as well. And do the upside down as well, reverse. What does athletic do? When they're doing for marathon run, they go like this. They jump around and they go, that itself makes them more focused, energized, the heart muscle stronger. Just by doing this. You do a sitting down like this. No problem. And last but the least, one of the best ways to improve your heart health is cupping. Put your cup there, clap it nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next, on the calf of the muscle there. One, two, three, four, five, nine. Next, other hand. One. Right. Next, you put there so that all the nerve system goes there. One. And the lung meridian goes from thumb 
to here. So cap here, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the L1 point. Other side. Excellent. And one of the best way to exercise your lung exercise is what? Come on, somebody tell me laughter. Right. Come on, open up and give it. Ah, 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 Get enough energy between the palm of the hand, then clap, 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 clap. Two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Put your heart to me, get me again. Every organ comes to your hand. Just by clapping it, you've exercised the whole body, including your lung, your heart, your liver, your pancreas, your kidney, everything automatically. Improve overall health. Plays a very big part. Last but not the least now, we just do some physical exercise. Before we do that, one of the main thing I taught, learned in last COVID-19 is tongue exercise. Jeebo ka exercise karna hai. Usse aapka jeep ka exercise koi karta nahi hai. But South India mein log bhoot log karte, roj karte yoga class mein. First thing, pull your tongue out and touch your nose with it. Can you touch your nose? Is a kya fire number pushna? Kodo was Kertero. This will help to make that back of the tongue muscle stronger. Also, activate your thoracic gland, your vagus nerve, and also makes your prevention of snoring and sleep apnea as well. So, oxygen your mask is your name. Yogi, and next you get tongue out. I was going to sway karna right, left, right, left. Next, you tongue out, hold it for a few seconds and suck it back in. Asok, you have a tongue to put it on. I'm done here, you got it. Excellent. Next is people have double chin. Put your chin up and take a tongue out, take out. All these exercises will improve your health, make your body, body signs up. One of the best exercises you'll enjoy in the next one. Go back to childhood, take a deep breath, make a sound like a pat pat here for three times. <laughs> Once more. <laughs> make sure nobody's sitting in front of you, otherwise they're a free shower. <laughs> Once more. It's a kyota ki by this vibration, the blood supply goes to the face and face starts to glow. You don't have to wear makeup on. And just clap it, just hit yourself. Excellent. Perfect. Now we do some physical exercise to expand the lung. One of the best ones is put your hand in the front and you breathe in, you go back. Excellent. Next, put your hand there. Go back, breathe in, and breathe out. And the last one, the least, make a tight fist. Upper jar ki saans hat khulna hai. Then turn around, make a fist pana ke niche aana hai. Usa apka pit, jitna bhi lung mein gas hai, any form will go out. Excellent. You managed to exercise every now. We do the first pranayam bastrika sitting in Gyan Mudra. And also doing Kichiri Mudra, roll your tongue back. Kichiri Mudra is one of the mother of all, all Mudra, king of Mudra. You put it, that helps to make your breath deeper. 
Okay. And it helps you to connect with yourself. Your mind doesn't go outward, goes inward. And then meditate on third eye. That will be part of meditation. Just sitting for 30 seconds, sitting Gyan Mudra, and eyes closed, and gaze kissing Mudra. <coughs> And no time passes so quickly. I didn't realize this passes so quickly. I'm sorry. I want to do so much, so little time. You have to do the minimum five minutes. Minimum. So take your both hand up in there, rub them together. Next, I've been learning about the Chinese therapy of how to take prana, mold body. They call it qi, which is the same thing. Next, stress is one of the biggest cause of ill health. How to do stress? Use your palm of your hand, to scoop the prana, and then go there and breathe out. You do that sitting down. I'm just showing you because camera is not catching me. That's why you go down like this, breathe out. And for last time, excellent. Next, on the important organ is the thymus gland. You don't need to know where it is, it's just below the thyroid gland under the breastbone. What I want to do is, if you tap all along, in the middle, you activate the thymus gland. And this itself will help to release anxiety, also increase your immune system by activating the T cell. So just tap it like this all along the breastbone. <laughs> this is very good. Every time you work, go home, do this before you go from office to work. Then you really leave your worries behind. Excellent. Excellent. Well done. This also produces your immune system as well. Next one is a very important one also is the uh, coughing for clearing any plaque deposit in the artery. You breathe in, just breathe in three times and four times you breathe in and cough loudly. One, two, three. At this time you breathe in and cough. <coughs> Just by doing that, you are able to release any blockage, any plaque deposit in your artery on a daily basis. So prevention of heart attack and stroke. So even if you're having one, this acts like a first aid. So very important. If you do that daily, this every day you're removing the mucus, anything else in your blockage in your artery, so you won't have the health issue at all. So please do that daily as a part of like your lung infection. Then you do that in dog pose. With the gravity, and do the exercise, your fluid will come out of your lung. And then you and also try to sleep in your stomach. So your back, you don't have any sac, don't have any fluid, so you can breathe properly. It plays a very important part. And last but not the least is the, again nitric oxide, but I just want to do the uh, I'll bring Maniji here to Maniji. Can you unmute yourself and do the uh, nitric oxide exhale? Just uh, just the breathing, just the humming sound one, please, if you don't mind. There's more to it, but we'll, time is limited, so we'll do the other. You have to attend some of the classes, but we'll just show you the sample. On you go, Maria. Okay. <clears throat> what we have to do is to, if you got your glasses, take your glasses off, and then we're going to close our ears. But before we do that, you play, uh, bite your teeth and put your tongue against your teeth, and then you take a deep breath and you make a humming sound. So we do it that five times. So if you close your ears, take a deep breath. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
do that last time. Mm. Money, you could explain uh, why, why, why you did the humming sound, what did that do? Just to explain that, you haven't talked about my, when I did before night, because I didn't talk about that. Okay. Just tell them now, please, don't mind. Yeah. And she's, a, she's one of the good yoga teachers as well. She's not, uh, she's oh, doing an oh, excellent yeah. job. Thank you. No, you, you are, you are in the, on you go. Yeah. Now the uh, humming sound, it helps to um, clear your nasal passage. Because every time you are breathing normally, you always take it in some nitric oxide. So if you have got, uh, you know, sinusitis or any uh, blockage, you know, through your code or anything, the humming will help you to <clears throat> clear your nasal passage, and then it will help to um, take the your nitric oxide into your respiratory system, so it will go down to trachea and go into your lungs, and that's help you. <clears throat> um, uh, and make a nitric oxide more by humming as well. So you have extra, you are making extra nitric oxide by humming. Yeah. Um, any, anything else you want me to yeah, but explain? Main thing, I, I, you have said everything. The main thing is it's able to increase your immunity by fighting COVID-19 with cysts in your nasal yeah. passes for two yeah, days. Exactly. So it's able to fight it, might kill it or weaken it. So when it even goes into your body, your antibody can fight and kill the virus. So you don't have the infection of nitric oxide. So really, whenever you go out, when you come back in, you do nitric oxide exercise, five times breathing. I guarantee, if you won't even if you catch COVID nineteen, you won't have much of a symptom. Okay, that's the benefit of it. And the problem is, from, from the drug companies don't want to promote that because they want to sell the vaccine. They want to sell all the testing kit and things like that. They make billions of pounds on that. I'm not against them. But I'm just saying that's why they are manipulating the whole situation to their own benefit financially. And nitric oxide is one of the best way. And they use that for mouth cancer as well. So really, the hospital health board knows about it. They're using nitric oxide for a lot of treatment as well for mouth cancer and things like that. But not, and they know they have done a research that it kills COVID-19, uh, you know, virus as well. But but they're not promoting it. Nobody talks about it. I'm quite annoyed in a sense, you know. But thank you, Marie. That was that was excellent. Next. Pranayam now is the Kapalvarti. Again, for Kapalvarti, first thing is your spine needs to be straight. So what I like to do is put this mudra, go all the way up, your hand touching fully stretched, and Kapalvarti for focusing on your spine. Excellent. Once you've done that, another one is that what I talked about in the class as well before, you stretch your leg, take your right leg over the left leg, and you twist right, right? Don't do that just now. We'll, we'll just do it. So that is self will exercise your all the organs and twist your spine as well. Next, we do Udan Mudra, four finger touching together. You can put it in your knee and do it. You have benefit to get the max. We want to put little effort and maximum benefit. So put that there. And you're twisting around, so you're twisting your, exhaling your liver, your pancreas, and your spleen, and also everything complete with the full benefit. That's one. Second is the Vayu, but now I do Sunni Vayu Mudra, index finger and middle finger, base of the thumb. That gives you overall benefit. But then try to get rid of Vayu from the air, Vayu dosa. So you do. Keeping your body straight, just moving your hand to get rid of all the gases from your stomach. Asok ji, sir ko sida rakhna hai, sir nahi move karna hai. Sir sida rakhi, please, darling. <laughs> darling. Yamare bhai ke tarah, koi baat hai, so kuch bol sakte That's excellent. Next, we need a prana. So you do the little finger and ring finger to increase your prana in your body. Just sitting down gently and breathing in and out. Excellent. Once you've done the prana, the extra energy you've gathered, use that to detox through a pan mudra, which is the deer pose. You can put a knee to it, look at maximum benefit put across there, and you're twisting around. Excellent. 
Next is, we used to do a Surya Mudra, but I like to do now a Kaf Nastik Dota. Kafs ko khatam karta hai and Pita ko badata hai. Which is little finger and ring finger, both places of thumb. Isse aapka cholesterol lo hoga, liver energy hoga, and aapka weight bhi kam hoga. Kaf, kafa ko kam karta hai, isse aapka weight kam hota hai. So isme, iske liye aapko move kare. Just showing you how we can mix pranayam with kapal bharti and all that as well. The pranayam with mudra as well. Next is people with low blood pressure, we do the ling mudra, like this one. People with high blood pressure, vayu mudra and apan mudra. Depending on it, then you do that for the last 10 seconds. Mudra is a very powerful tool to improve your health. Excellent. Next, we want to do the important one is Ujjayi. So what I like to do is, and I don't know if, if Rekhaji want to do the Rekhaji? You like to do the Ujjayi? No. Okay, she doesn't. Anybody else volunteer? Who wants to do the Ujjayi? <laughs> I'll explain. I'll explain the thing. Actually. Okay, I'll do it. What you do is first you clear your throat for a couple of times, <coughs> just to make sure throat is clear. And take your kitchen mudra, roll your tongue back up the top. Prabhuji is there. Does he want to? Oh, Prabhuji, Prabhuji you want to do that? Ask him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll highlight you, Prabhuji. I'm highlighted. Oh, you're, you're, you're only highlighted. Sorry, clever boy. <laughs> <laughs> On you go. Ujjayi. Yeah. yeah. So we, first we clear the throat and then <clears throat> we, we, we take a breath, tightening the throat and you breathe in. <clears throat> <laughs> so the next time you, you take a longer breath like that so you go <laughs> and you hold and lock your chin down you hold four five six seven and then unlock the chin close the right nostril breathe out from the left That is one round of Ujjayi. So Ujjayi is basically reverse of clearing your throat. You know, when you clear your throat, you go. <clears throat> so you're tightening the throat and you're breathing out. In Ujjayi, you tighten the throat and you breathe in. <clears throat> thank you, Prabhu. Thank you, Prabhu. Okay. Excellent. Okay, okay, thank you. So that's Ujjayi. We saw is such a powerful tool to improve the thyroid gland. Underactive or overactive in both cases. It improves the thing. But only thing, Ujjayi, me, if you add a Khichiri Mudra onto it, then the vibration is bigger. That's what I find. Again, you have to practice yourself and find which works for you. For me, when I do the Khichiri Mudra, <laughs> so you can, my sound is much more louder going through the throat and vibrating my thyroid gland and activating it much more than that, much more than happens. Next is obviously important one is we've done Sitli Sitkari, you won't do it now. Next is what you call Anlom Bilom. Eh? And who wants to do a loom below? Nobody. Okay. I'll do it. Huh? I'll do that? it. Okay, Into you do it. Yes, I will highlight, will highlight you. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, it depends on what blood pressure you got. But normally we start off by closing the right one and breathing from the left side. Mm -hmm. So just underneath the bone, if you just press your thumb slightly and breathe in from the left. And then you close the left and breathe out from the right. Now you breathe in from the right. Close the right and breathe out from the left. Breathe in from the left. Close the left and breathe out from the right. Breathe in from the right, close the right and breathe out from the left. In English, they call it alternative nostril breathing, yeah. but we call it anulom bilom 
and it really helps you to calm your mind down and be able to sleep well. So if you do it last thing at night, it's really, really helpful. It increases the lung capacity. So your, your both lungs starts working well. Thank you. Thank you, and that was excellent. That was a lovely explanation. Really, thank you very much. Well done. No, I'm very pleased. See, alo bilum also one of the best things for that is to clear energy channel. Any blockage in your artery, energy channel gets clear, so energy can flow freely. Any blockage in energy channel is causes diseases. Even blockage of artery will cause your heart attack and stroke and so on. So plays a very important part in that kind of thing. Alo bilum. Right. So next, alone uh, uh, another thing I want to add on to it, uh, if you have a high blood pressure, which I have, what you do is you use the Vayu Mudra, close my right nostril, breathe from left, breathe out from right, then close right again and breathe from left. You keep breathing from left side only and breathe out from right. Breathe from left, breathe out from right that will reduce your blood pressure. And if you have a high blood, low blood pressure, you close your left nostril, breathe from right, breathe out from left. So keep breathing from right, breathe out from left. And there's a simple solution. You will like that. If you have a cotton bud, if I have a high blood pressure, I'll put a cotton bud in my right ear. Just by doing this, my left nostril become active. So when I'm doing breathing normally, it's cotton bud my right ear, my blood pressure will go down because breathing from left and breathing out from myself. And if you have low blood pressure, put a cotton bud on the left ear, then you start breathing from right side of nostril become more positive, predominant, and your blood pressure comes back to normal and very good. That makes sense? So if you, take, take the, if you take the tablet, still you can do that one? Yeah, yeah, but tablet is, but what I'm saying is this is helping you to manage it better. If you okay. if you get if you get the other way, then you have to go to a doctor, you'll reduce your medicine. You know. Okay. But, yeah. but you manage you manage your symptom better. Okay. So, your, so, so in fact the medicine becomes reducer, you know. But you you don't reduce yourself. You have to go and no, no, no. no, I'm just saying about this one no, yeah. so... no, no, but it's a very effective way of doing doing things as well. Okay. And, All and, right. and, like, thank you, Ali. No, that's a good, good, good answer. No, no. Time is only got a few minutes left. I'm trying to cover so many things. I'm sorry. Uh, now, right. <laughs> now, next is the Brahmri Udgit and Prana, which is very important. But Brahmri is one best way for mental health, headache, and everything else. All you do is all of us take your thumb to close your yellow, index finger on your forehead, and covering eyes with three finger, and put in Kichi Mudra. That'll make the vibration go to your crown chakra and improve your health. Mm. Mm. And relax. Usually we do that for three to five times, but just not the time limit, we won't do that. And then you go uh, prana, which is a meditation sign. What I'm going to do is to finish the class off, one of the best one is uh, raising your chakras through muladhar, swadhisthan, to the sound, vowel, color, and so on. So let's sit in the Gyan Mudra. Close your eyes. Think, think of a rectangle shape in front of your eyes and color that with red color and take a deep breath pull your back passage up and make a sound of la la for 10 times and finish with la. La, 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 la. If you do it properly, you'll feel the tingling feeling at your base chakra. That's why it does. Next is Swadhisthan, which is like half moon shape. Put your tongue like this, half moon shape, and your palm. Close your eyes, think of a dark night, half moon shining a silver lightning onto you. And take a deep breath, make a sound of va va for 10 times and finish with va. Va, 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 va. Next is your digest system. Your so it's triangle, solar plex, your index finger and thumb makes a triangle like this. Put that next to your solar plex, pull your stomach in, close your eyes, 
Think of a triangle shape in front of your eyes, color that with yellow color, and take a deep breath, make a sound of ra, ra for 10 times and finish with ram. Ra, 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 Next is your heart. Both hands in Gyan Mudra, left hand on the knee, right hand under your heart. Doesn't matter what kind of heart issue you have, palpitation, anything else, fix everything up. Focus on your heart. Think of a, close your eyes, think of a sky full of light, gray color cloud, and take a deep breath, make a sound of ya, ya for 10 times and finish with ya. Ya, 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 ya. Next is your thyroid gland. Put your index finger like this. Put either side of the throat like that. Close your eyes. Think of a dark night full of stars, shining like a Christmas light, all the different color, red, green, blue, purple. And take a deep breath, make a sound of a ha, ha for 10 times and finish with ha. Ha, 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 ha. Excellent. So any of this, what you're doing, if you have certain problem, then you do it longer, more time. If you have a thyroid problem, you do that five times, no problem. Next is your third eye, put your hand like this, rub the third eye for a few times, then energize it, then slowly bring your hand there. Physically you're not, mentally you're still rubbing the third eye and take a, and, and make a, focusing your third eye, take a deep breath in and make a sign of OM for three times. Oh, 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 oh. Last, no leave the crown chuck. Put your right hand in your throat, head, rub over. Obviously, if you don't have hair, more benefit. So, I'm one of the lucky ones. Prabhuji has got some hair, so he's still is struggling to catch up with me yet. <laughs> and then you do the index, put your ring finger out like this, focus and put your tongue to the top in Kichi Mudra and make a sound of like a bumblebee for three times. Gently take your both hand up in there, rub them together. Before we, uh, or like Rekha, you do the, uh, uh, what do you call a, a prayer, please, for me. Please, Rekha, you can do that with your sweet voice, if you don't mind. You okay? Unmute Rekha Ji. You don't do it. Okay, who else? Uh, anybody else want to do it? Anybody else want to do it? Rekha, 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 Sorry. Good evening, everybody. Prayer for everybody. Dear God, today we thank you for all the love and blessings you gave us. A loving family, caring friends, and all the wonderful people we met through our life journey. We humbly ask you to bless us all, protect us all, and guide us in overcoming challenge in our life. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you, Sarvanji. It was a lovely let's, session you have done. Let's roll like a lion. Roll like a lion. Put your hand there. Put just to place the glass off. Mm -hmm. Come on, louder. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>
And the best form of exercise in your Togi? Laughter. Give me laughter, Togi. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dawid. And hopefully you enjoy the session of Prania. I'm I'm hearing myself back again. Don't know why. Don't know why. Okay. Any any, any question? Anything you want to anybody ask? Did you enjoy the class? Did you enjoy the class? Yes. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I won't say good morning. I'll say good evening. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Thank you very much, Sarvanti. Thank you. Sarvanti, we're going to do the Wednesday class. What? Every Wednesday class. Every Wednesday class. Every Wednesday class. We're doing training for training. We're doing part of our development course. We're doing part of our development course. So next week, Asan will be asked mostly, which I'm not good at. Now I'm getting old now, so I need to get some younger people to do the Asan for me, you know. I'll pick, I'll pick some of the young, fitter people, more flexible, you know. Like Mani Ji, uh, what do you call, and uh, then you go, uh, even Prabhu and me are not good either, either. We can do so much and not much. <laughs> uh, maybe Rekha Ji and think people are much more flexible, you know, kind of idea, better action. No, there no. is a class every day at, at nine o'clock in the morning. No, but a lot yes. of people are not point promoting just my class. I want them to attend yoga class. They're doing a lot of yoga class happening throughout the throughout the UK. Please join something. Pranayam is one of the best ways to promote health. And don't just take my word for it. You do it and you'll feel the difference yourself. I can't <laughs> see even anybody. A lot of, I, I can't want to mention any name. Even so you take class every morning as well. Depending on your time factor, if you're working, then you can attend the Rekaji class, which takes seven to half seven for half an hour, which is good enough for most people to spend time. If, they, if they're retired, they have, they're like me doing nothing, then they can join my class from nine to half ten because they are free. <laughs> they're not going anywhere, fair enough. So it just your, depends your on your lifestyle. Throughout Easter. Yeah. <laughs> yes, class every day. But I, every, every day, day, including holidays. Yes. Oh, that's good. So every day there is a class at nine o'clock. Yeah, but they say yeah, but I have Zoom ID. Yeah, but I, Prabhu ji, आपको diabetes होगा कोई दवाई देता है तो आप फिर बोलते हैं आज holiday में दवाई नहीं खाएंगे। दवाई रोज खाते हैं कि नहीं? ठीक होगा, ठीक होगा, ठीक होगा। That's why. सही बात है श्रवण जी। हाँ? सही बात है आपकी श्रवण जी। Thank you very much, Sudha ji. No, no. Nice to see all of you. You